The fact that science could achieve such a total victory is incredible. Oh, so they really did it. They completely neutralized a threat that seemed invincible. But hang on. If the weapon was created, why isn't the war over? Why do people still need to hunt these spiders? Because victory in war depends on a steady supply of ammunition. The anti-venom isn't vaccine, it's a treatment. And to produce it, you need one key ingredient, pure venom. The Australian Reptile Park became the world's only supplier. So how does that even work? How do you turn a drop of that milky white venom into a vial that saves someone's life? It's a journey that's as delicate as it is ingenious. After being milked, that precious drop of venom is instantly freeze-dried, turning it into a stable white powder. This is crucial, as the raw venom is a highly fragile biological compound. Batches of this powder are then transported under high security to the only company in Australia that carries on this work, Securus. And this is where other unsung heroes enter the story, rabbits. Tiny, non-lethal doses of the venom powder are injected into rabbits over a period of months. Their immune systems, unlike ours, can fight it off, producing powerful antibodies. It's the plasma from the blood of these rabbits rich with those life-saving antibodies that is harvested and purified to create the anti-venom used in hospitals. That's incredible. So the full journey is spider to keeper to freeze-dry lab to rabbit, and only then does it get to a human. It's an extraordinary chain of survival. This is the kind of detail you won't find in any book. The extraction process, known as milking, is a ritual of intense focus performed in a sterile, silent lab. Hang on, what does milking a spider actually involve, step by step? With movements that are slow and deliberate, a keeper uses long forceps to encourage the spider onto a clean surface. The spider, sensing a threat, rears into its iconic defensive posture, fangs exposed and dripping with venom. In that split second, the keeper must move a glass pipette with surgical precision to the tip of a single fang. A gentle vacuum draws out a tiny, precious droplet of milky white venom. The entire procedure is a ballet of controlled risk, as the spider's fangs are sharp and strong enough to pierce a human fingernail.